watching KITV. you welcome to prayer vault invasion listen today i am excited about what god is getting ready to do in your life i am so elated about the topic that he has given me to discuss with the world today i believe all over the world that god is healing homes i believe that he is delivering families i believe that he is uh, uh he is literally touching the hearts of children i believe that god is he, he's removing the restrictions off of you i believe that the father is purifying our generation I I begin to sit to myself in prayer and as I begin before I came today to sit before you and to minister to the world that my heart begin to be heavy with all of the tragedy in our nation and I, I begin to say Lord what would you have for me to do he began to show me jewels in my hand and do you know that God can literally give you something within your hand and you don't know what to do with it Moses was at the Red Sea and while the people was panicking he said Lord what can I do what shall I do and the Lord began to tell him Moses use what is in your hand can I prophesy to you today I want to decree over you that there is something in your hand that you are not using that is able to deliver you out of the situation that you're in when I begin to see the jewels in my hand I said father what are you saying to me he said Sarafina I've given you all all that you need to be successful to cause a nation of people to be bridged together to cause deliverance to break out and revival to happen in the four corners of the earth he said but you're not doing anything with what I have given you and I begin to say okay Lord will I have it show me what to do he said ask of me I begin to ask of the Lord for wisdom 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 for it is the principal thing and as the Lord begin to guide me with his wisdom I begin to declare the word of the Lord that for I reckon that the suffering of this present time is not worthy to co be compared to the glory that shall be revealed in us and as I begin to do what God has given me you see me here on this screen ministering to you I decree to your homes today that the father is getting ready to cause a healing to happen you're viewing from Australia you're viewing from Canada you're viewing from the states wherever you are viewing from from the father is all Raman say at a man so he shall cause a deliverance to happen for you I want to talk about the scripture in the book of Nehemiah and the Bible declares that Nehemiah felt an urgency to rebuild the wall Nehemiah Nehemiah was a cupbearer and understand that this young man his intentions in life was never to be anything else but a cupbearer but the Spirit of the Lord met him where he was Somebody somewhere, the Spirit of the Lord has been tugging on you. It has been pushing you. It has been waging war with you that you will begin, oh my goodness, to yield to the charge on your life. But you're saying, God, this is, there's so many people that have a makeup line. 
There's so many people that have a, a church. There's so many people that have TV networks. There's so many people that have children. What makes me any different? You are different. Nehemiah was different. The scripture says that he began to feel the urge to do something greater than where he was. And he took on the assignment to build the wall. And the Bible says as he began to build the wall back up, oh my gosh, the Bible says this, watch this, that as the wall began to be built up, that people begin to come against him. Do you not understand that when you decide to dream big, when you decide to do what God has given you to do, that there will be people that will work against your vision, that will work against what God has given you, they will work against your family, they will try to throw obstacles and hurdles and veils of darkness against you so that you will not prevail. But I want to prophesy to you that every evil agenda of Satan is being broken. Every every evil agenda and satanic veil has been split. I want to decree over you today that your life is changing. That you are coming out of Lodi Bar. You are coming out of the crutches of life. And the spirit of God is blowing on you. I prophesy to that low place in you. I decree to you that you will never ever be the same again. You'll never be the same again, no. You'll never be the same again, no. You'll never be the same again, no, 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 no. You'll never, you'll never be the same again, no. Someone has told you that your life will stay the same, but it's not. Someone has told you that you'll never make it beyond where you are, but it's not. Someone has told you that you will never conquer your fears, but you will. I came to prophesy to you today to tell you that you are a Nehemiah and you will build the wall against opposition. Nehemiah, when Sanballat and Tobiah came into his life, they begin to try to infiltrate the ears of the people people they begin to try to tell them that God did not call you to do that God did not orchestrate you to do that oh my man so God did not orchestrate you but let me tell you something Nehemiah said I am too I am too uh, uh, locked into what God has given me to stop what I am doing to entertain what you are saying oh you want to know how you are able to build in 2019 you will be able to build by learning to ignore opposition nehemiah learned what to answer and what not to answer he learned who to respond to and who not to respond to i'm prophesying to entrepreneurs i'm declaring the word of the lord over that mother that single mother that's working that nine to five job and you have a dream you have something in you that you are believing god for but you're saying, God, where are you? God, I, 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 I don't know what's getting ready to happen for me. I, I, I don't know what's my next. I don't know what's my tomorrow. But I want to prophesy to you that your next is now. I want to prophesy to you and tell you that you don't have to remain in that place. Nehemiah understood the power of saying no. And guess what? When Nehemiah responded to send ballots and Tobiah, they got angry. Because people that come to distract you from the plan of the Lord, they come to drain you. They come to restrict you. They come to remove your focus. Nehemiah understood the ability of focus. He understood the potential of focus. See, focusing gives birth to great things. For you See, I am pregnant with heaven's agenda. I am pregnant with the mindset of heaven. Oh my gosh. And I plan to give birth to everything that heaven has placed on the inside of me. And I plan to 
focus this year. I want to prophesy to your year. I want to declare to you that you will have the anointing of Nehemiah. He just didn't build the wall, but he had a heart to build the wall. And he not only did he build the wall, but he began to break down the spirits of opposition. He said, tell them I am doing a great work. I cannot stop what I'm doing to begin to follow you. See, these people were contaminated. They were full of corruption. St. Ballard and Tobiah was full of corruption. Corruption was in their hearts. Their hearts did not mean Nehemiah and the people well. They came to divide and to conquer. They came to sever the work of the Lord. And watch this, Nehemiah, when you are building a wall, let me say this to you. When you are building your family and you're building your marriage and you're building what God has given you, when you, when you decide to launch into the river, launch into the deep of the Lord, watch this. When you decide to launch into the river of the Lord, watch what happens. There will be people that will come with corruption in their hearts and they will try to take your river because they understand that if they can get a foothold inside of what you are doing they can assassinate and abort it but I declare that you will be ever discerning in this hour I declare that your life will never ever be the same I declare that you will see the Lord's hand in your life I declare that when the enemy has woven, woven himself within you that it will be removed every negative strand will be removed I prophesy to you a nation's anointing will hit you I prophesy to you a global anointing will hit you I prophesy to you the weapon of rest will hit you I prophesy to you that your life will never be the same again I declare to you today that you're changing. Your life is changing. And Nehemiah built this wall and he ignored Sanballat and Tobiah. And when you ignore the enemy, the enemy gets upset. But let me tell you something that eventually the enemy will shut his mouth and he will leave you alone. And Nehemiah built the wall. He completed the assignment and he did not allow those things to distract him. I want to pray for you today as I'm on this broadcast before we close I want to pray for you I want to declare over you that the weapons of the enemy are breaking I want to speak to that young woman that is in Abuja I want to speak to that young man that is in Nigeria I want to speak to that that vessel that is in New York that is in Dallas that is in Atlanta that is in Australia that is in Pakistan I want to speak to you in one million homes and I Rebecca I even lay my hand where you are and I declare the healing of God upon your womb. There is somebody battling with cancer. There is somebody who is battling with a spinal disease and you do not believe that the Lord can heal you. But the Father says place your hand on this screen for you shall be divinely healed. I destroy every demonic attack over your life. I destroy every corrupted heart around you. I destroy every spirit of gossip that has come to misalign you from destiny. I prophesy to you this day that you shall arise above your family. You shall arise above what they have said. You shall arise above the curses of man and you shall leap into destiny. I decree that your life will never be the same. I prophesy change today to you. I prophesy the rivers of the Lord. I prophesy that as you're tuning into this network, that you will understand that God's will for your life is not the same. I decree to you that the power of the Lord will begin to over, 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 over invade you. He will invade your space. He will invade your space yes he will invade 
invade your space, yes, he will invade your space, yes, he will invade your space, yes, even while I'm sitting and talking to you today, I see a key that was just released in my hand, and the Father says, I'm giving authority, I'm giving authority to new ones, I'm giving authority to vessels as a pastor, where you're in the middle of a crisis, and the Lord says, I shall come and see about you. As we're closing this broadcast, know that you are loved, know that you are appreciated, know that you are cared for, know that someone loves you. Know that you are cared for. I want you to go to my website www.sarafinathomas.com I want you to put in your prayer request I want you to plant your seeds that will help us to spread the gospel I want you to go to the website our television network that is viewing this right now I want you to click the link I want you to download the podcast I want you to share it with your family I want you to gather your children during dinner time and place it on the table and press play and let them begin to hear the word of the Lord I believe that prayer is entering our schools again. I believe that the Lord is touching the governmental system. For they want to pass laws on so many demonic things. But I declare that if there will be a people that will propel in prayer, there will be a God that will answer. Our God. Our God. Our God shall answer. Our God shall answer. Our God shall answer by fire. He shall answer with demonstration. He shall answer by fire. I declare declare that the father shall convert you you are a muslim and you're tuning in you're you're you come from a hindu background and you rebecca sutu mahaya you don't even understand how you landed on this page you you just were scrolling on facebook and you're saying god how did i end up here you're a young woman who you 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 found comfort within the stripping club you found comfort i used to be that young lady i used to deal with promiscuity i used to deal with trying to find a need to fulfill my desires inside of me I was looking for love in all of the wrong places but there came a day when the spirit of the Lord met me in the abortion clinic oh, and changed my entire life he showed me my reality and he said Serafina if you keep living like this you will die like this oh my God and I believe that he is the potter I believe that he is the potter fixer he is the one that molds the clay oh and when the Lord begins to put his hand on my life the pieces begin to come back together again I declare to you wherever you are that you're not alone no you're not I break that suicidal thought I break that thought of feeling like you're going to die before your time I break it in the realm of the spirit I speak with the authority of God by fire every demonic voice in your head is silence I declare you will forgive you God is going to help you walk in divine forgiveness I prophesy it I decree it I declare that this broadcast will not be the same when this thing hits your soul you will testify of how it brought you to your knees of salvation one touch from God will change your life 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 I decree it upon you I decree it I love you you are watching our network and we are happy to be in your home many blessings to you see you again 
God bless you, everyone. Welcome. Listen, I want to personally invite you to the Prayer Vault Conference in Houston, Texas. Listen, I'm excited about seeing you, meeting you. Listen, the Lord showed me a vision as I began to fast and pray regarding this conference. I saw flesh burning as it went to enter the temple of the Lord. But on the side, as you begin to go in the temple, watch this. The Holy Spirit was waiting to adorn and dress his people with new garments. I'm waiting for you at the prayer vault. It's not about flesh. It's not about me. It's about the Lord getting ready to transform your life. I'm telling you, this is going to be bigger than what the nation has ever seen. I'm talking about tabloids and networks around this country will begin to write and scribe about the miracles, signs and wonders that are going to take place. Listen, I want you to join me. Register now on my website, www.sarafinathomas.com. The registration is $28. And if you don't have it, don't let it miss you. Join me. I love you guys.